started here that you have something you need to get off your chest. Yes, I, I feel very bad. There was I went to visit uh, some friends last night, Jason Sudeikis and Olivia Wilde. Hold on. No big deal. I'm friends with them. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Whatever. I, I, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but it was, you know, those two pretty big-time celebrities, and I'm friends with them. Um, but, I, no, but that has nothing to do with this, except for that's where I was. Um, but I, I called an Uber to, to leave, and the Uber shows up, and I get in the car, and and immediately I was hit with this, like, flowery smell. And so I was wanted to be friendly with this guy. I was in a good mood, and I said, uh, that is, it smells wonderful in here. And he kind of looked back and made this weird, like, embarrassed smile and said, yeah, uh, yeah. And I didn't know what the heck that meant. And then we took off, like, Ten seconds later, the windows were down, and then I realized it, the, the odor was uh, covering up this man's horrible body odor problem. It was a big problem, and, like, so I think this guy thought that I was, like, passive-aggressively saying, you reek, dude. And, I, and so it was the most uncomfortable ride, because I can't say, like, hey, I didn't know that you smelled so bad, or I wouldn't have said that. So, so just, I, I just, you know, so I just want to say I apologize to uh, the stinky Uber car driver. He knows who you are, obviously. Yeah, probably. I mean, no, I'm kidding. I, no, no, no. I mean, uh, Jason or Olivia were not in the car, so there was not probably a recognizable face. I am friends with those guys, though. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Well, you're friends, a lot, you're friends with a lot of famous people because you're a famous person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I understand, I understand that this is,